61A lecture number six, video only lecture, since today is a holiday. Before I start, I have a brief message from my son Ian that goes out to everybody who attended Berkeley's opening football game on Saturday, to the team, the band, everybody who danced, cheered, and shouted in the stands. He wanted to say, Go Bears! And now, announcements. The Hog Project is due on Thursday. You're meant to finish phase one individually. Turn that in by Tuesday. That's tomorrow. Then as soon as you turn that in, you can start working with a partner on phases two and three. Tomorrow evening, we'll hold a project party starting at 6.30 in Quarry Hall. And we've listed two rooms here, but actually we have more rooms available. So when you arrive and you see the room is too crowded, look for signs that point you to other rooms as well and we'll make sure to get those other rooms on the website soon. Try to submit everything by Wednesday for an early submission bonus point. Homework two is posted. It's due on Thursday. The other thing you should do this week is join a computer science mentors adjunct section. What's that? That's our small group free tutoring that we offer as part of the course, where you can meet with a group of four to six other students weekly at a scheduled time with a member of computer science mentors, they're tutors that are part of the course staff, and they'll help you review important conceptual materials, learn how to get better at solving problems, give you a chance to ask questions about what it's like to continue on in computer science, and generally provide advice and help in whatever form you ask for. This semester is special because we're actually conducting a research experiment on all of you who decide to participate in computer science mentors. So when you sign up for CSM this time, you'll have to spend about 10 minutes filling out a survey that indicates some facts about yourself, your prior experience in computing, how you're feeling about the course so far, and a bit about your experience at Berkeley. The point of our research is to figure out whether it matters how we cluster students into these small groups, and if so, is there some best way? You could imagine there are lots of different ways of grouping students together, we don't know which one is best, so we're going to try some variations out. But you'll still receive the same great content, regardless of how you end up getting clustered with other students. It's also possible to join computer science mentors without participating in our research. And you'll find an option for that as you go through the sign-up process. Computer science mentors doesn't actually meet until after midterm one, but we'll start signing up this week. I do recommend signing up early so that you can make sure you get a spot. I think we have enough room for close to a third of the class to participate in CS Mentors. It just takes you an extra hour a week, which you're probably going to spend studying anyway. So why not study with a group and a tutor and get the most out of your time? There's a partner mixer hosted by the EECS department tomorrow, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and midterm one is a week from today, on Monday the 10th. We hold the midterm in the evening so that we can have seats for everybody. So 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. is when the midterm will be held. We'll start the exam at 8, 10 p.m. precisely, but please try to arrive by 8 p.m. The emphasis is all on topics that we've already covered, and you'll see some more examples during this lecture. Functions, assignment, iteration, higher order functions, environment diagrams are all part of the exam. This video only lecture is part of the exam but I don't really cover any new topics in this lecture. I'm just going to show you some ways of using things you already know. And Wednesday's lecture will also be included on the exam, but not as a major point of emphasis. The topic we start on Wednesday called recursion is mostly a topic for midterm two, but you might see a little bit of it on midterm one as well. You need to bring something to write with, and you can bring a two-sided sheet of handwritten notes that you create yourself. We will provide scratch paper and the midterm one study guide, which is a single sheet, two-sided, very fine print collection of all of the important slides so far, including several examples, a few environment diagrams, and some important sentences about how things work. So if you forget in the middle of the exam what's the execution rule for a def statement, you can look it up but it's a good idea to read this sheet beforehand so that you know what's on it and can find things quickly. Next week, there will be no lecture on Monday and no lab because we'll be grading your exam. 
Okay, on to this lecture, which has some examples that might help you with phase two of the HOG project, and also show you the kinds of things that you can accomplish using higher order functions.